Or you just want it to roll here and go like straight across? I didn't say Old Town Road. <laughs> yeah. What's playing tonight? Hey y'all, welcome to the old number seven garage. We've been busy in the shop working some late hours. Let's let you see what we're working on today. All right, so we had a couple questions about uh, building the nose. So I guess we can run you through a little bit on how we built ours. We're getting ready to do a hood too, but um, <clears throat> pretty simple. We made ours do, uh, basically just easy to take apart and put back together because I mean, that's, that's a lot of real estate there, and we, we wind up bending it quite often. So basically, all we're doing is just a flat piece of metal on the top, and we'll use some angle on the sides, and then another flat piece of metal on the side, so it can be taken apart real easy. We'll take the side off of it and let you look a bit more at that. So when we were building this nose, it took us quite a long time just to figure out every measurement we needed for it to land perfectly. But... You know just use your best judgment and uh, make it out of cardboard if you need to but you can see here we got a back support on here to hold it up the bumper will hold it on the sides down here and uh that's just basically about it nothing too crazy going on there but just wanted to let you guys know what we got going on so you can make it easier for yourself Gosh dang it. Good thing you know something. I don't know nothing. Put that bend on it. A little long in the back, huh? Well, you still got. Well, I know that. We got four inches we got to tuck in, but that's like eight. Hell, it'll work. Either it will or it won't. Four and three quarters right there. Yeah. Okay. So that's how we do that hem. Eighth inch. Makes it real nice. See that? Eight inch hem all the way down. And that's a Mettler Brothers 24 inch bead roller. Get yours today. Well, we're a few steps into the old hood. We got it all bent up. We just gotta do a couple more little adjustments to it. We're gonna do something kind of cool on this side. I'll show you guys all about that. A lot of guys get this tire. It, anyway, it comes up in here and rolls up and 
knocks your freaking hood off fender gets into the nose so we're going to make a bunch of clearance around that area so when we're rolling the old car over she's at attitude we ain't got to worry about getting up in there and messing our sheet metal up so let's keep on going all right we finally busted out the shrinker stretcher hit that handle b see how that's pulling the material together so this is the shrinker one of them the other one goes the opposite way it, it goes out the other way so i'll stretch it but we use this a lot we're getting ready to use it on this hood so we can make this because it needs to roll down that's what you're going to see us do since we have so much of scrap material laying around we just put a three quarter inch bend on this which is the same it just mimics that you know so it's just like this and we're going to attempt to make this piece and make sure everything lines up and it's got the correct curve and everything because we i ain't messing that one up you know what i mean we're gonna mess this one up right. <laughs> and you're just gonna work it and see it's starting to bend it go back the other way we're not gonna put a ton on it we're just gonna get it just a little bit let's try that i don't think that's gonna be enough yet but you can see so we can lay this up here and that's where our no our hood's gonna set so we gotta go just a little bit more because it's see it's hiking it up way back here back and forth process but you can see it it's pretty cool how it works a little bit more b i'm just kind of eyeballing back through here at the, the height what's it look like to you on that one back here Pretty close. A little bit more, or do you call it? You can call it. Okay. So now we have a template. I ain't gonna work. There we go. All right, we're back on our hood. We took us a slight break there. We had to figure some stuff out, do some ciphering. Isn't that what they call it? That's right. Ciphering. So I got a line marked here, and that's where this side, which is the right side, of like the side of the hood is gonna be. It's gonna go inside. The hood so we don't get our tire into it let's see if we can make it work all right somebody delivered us some stuff and i got no idea what it is so let's find out together open that up <coughs> what do you think it is uh, yes don't know they don't make them i'm gonna say some uh, foam okay he's gonna say foam Oh, my God, look. Oh, look. He's freaking right. What we got here? Oh, that's Mike Harrison on the front of that. Couple of catalogs. 2020 Long Acre and AFCO. I mean, that's a thick book. I'm going to take one of everything out of here. You buy it? No. No? Nope, not this time. Not th no, for next time then. Yeah, next, way off in the future. <laughs> next time he'll buy them now they got some cool stuff and uh i've been talking with them and uh we're gonna get several afco products on the car this year so they sent me out some real nice catalogs right, that's, that's some nice stuff this is good material when you're uh what 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 would what, what would a guy use them for most of the time Reading. but where would you be make you a wish list where would you be at when you're reading that book couch. well i think he's full of baloney yeah just it, we'll just say it's good reading material but i mean there's there's plenty of stuff we're going to need on this car so maybe we'll get us a deal on it oh well, i know they got some cool gauges this uh just come out with somewhere yeah waterproof waterproof gauges for all you race car guys that do the dirt stuff anyway let's get back on building this hood back on the hood we're getting her close it's taking us about an hour ain't it to get this far probably two hours Been a while. just jacking around so we won't bore you with the details we'll just uh let you see it when it's done how about that something on my finger heating me well Got the hood all 
sitting on there pretty as it's gonna get so all of our calculations were correct right right doctor that's right <laughs> got our hood pins in there so we got it set in the way we like it need to trim that just a little bit right there we're not gonna put the hole in it we actually had to take the freaking carburetor off there no carburetor so we could get everything set on there the way we wanted. You don't want to put a hole in it until we put the wrap on it because, uh, tell them about that. Yeah, that wasn't a fun deal. Every time we got to like, it sags down in there and when you get to the back behind it, it's a nightmare. I don't like it. So we're just going to hold off on the, the breather hole. Now we need to figure out, we need to make the sides and figure out how, where, where we want this to come up. I think on this side we're going to make it pretty... Pretty short. Pretty short, so we don't get into the anything there. This side will be be fine, and it'll just rivet right to this, all the way through there. So I guess that's next on the agenda. That take that taken us probably three hours to get that thing right. But there's a lot of measurements you got to take. I mean, look at the that's the measurements for my hood. A lot of stuff going on. So now we got it. We can make it again and again and again, you know. It won't be that hard. But just taking time to make her look good. Just to go out to the track and get mud and Tired of rock chips and dents. Hell, you can go out the first night and fold that all up. But then again, maybe you won't. Never know. So let's get back at it. Getting the old bead roller out again. I'll have that. This will be our side piece for the right side. We're gonna put a hem on it, an eighth inch, and then we're gonna run a step die across the bottom of it to strengthen it up. Could be pretty nice. This was in the scrap pile too. Can you believe it? Yeah, that's gonna work good. And we'll get her slammed on there. I think that one turned out pretty good, B. Look at all that room you got in there. Let me get underneath here. Look at all that room you got in there for a tire. Hey, you see what we got going on there? That goes way back in there. But you still got your hood being big. It's big. But it's little. <laughs> That's the first time for us doing that, but then it comes right back over there. Tucks in. Now we just got to trim this sucker, even with that, so everybody's happy. And I think it'll, I think it'll work out good. Just got the old nose side done up. I'm gonna bolt her on there and see what we think. Buzz this one down. Downtown, Junior Brown. Ever met that guy? You like it? I'll have to. That's pretty good. I'll pull it up. How about that? Tighten it up. Oh, you're talking about when we get the hood on yeah. and off. Let me fix that for you. How about that? That's <laughs> awesome. That'll just fall on there now. Let's look at it. Would you just look at it? I'm gonna go get a light. Can't see nothing. Tell me, is it bright? Oh, man. Harbor Freight. It's really good light. Catch them on sale for like 20 bucks. Okay. Now we shed a little light on the situation. So, try not to blind you. That lines up pretty nice. I mean, that actually is dead nuts. Dead nuts, bud. That's cool. That's cool. All kinds of room. <laughs> For activities in there. Was that funny? 
Okay. All right. So there we have that side. And she turned out good. Very time consuming process. But she's coming together, boys. Two inches? Go find me another one. Go find me another one. This guy is the king of scrapping, dumpster diving. He's been finding all my stuff we need. You can do it. You can do it. I think we're all up in here, Just look real hard. <laughs> What's about this one? Yeah. Well, I thought that too. It's kind of skinny. Ah, uh, horse manure. Hey, there's one, there's one more spot. Yeah, right down there, buddy. Tell it to me. I'll get down there with you. I know there's something under here. Oh, look at that one right there. The hell we on there? I yeah, I see it. Oh, this floor is cold. We can make it out of this one. Okay. It's harder and harder to get up. Well, if you can't make it out of that, I don't know what to tell you, friend. Plenty. So we need to decide how tall we want to make that side. We want to make it four inches? Six? How tall you want to make it? I don't know. Should we make this side roll with it like this or just go straight in like we did the other one? Put that roll on it. Put the roll in this one to go yeah, down and follow to, it. Oh, I know, but I mean on the bottom. Remember how the other one rolled and then it just went straight across? You want this one, the whole panel to roll? Or you just want it to roll here and go like straight across? I didn't say Old Town Road. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Okay. You know best. I really heard you say that. Whatever you say, boss. I think, are you thinking five? I was thinking. Thinking five, well, well, what's five look like down there? Same as down there, just on this end. <laughs> yep. You're, you're real good, bud. We only have to trim much of that then. No. We're going to take the hood off and uh, we'll get that, we'll just mark it. And then trim it, cut it, cut that curve, cool slam it on there. <laughs> slam it to grandma's. It's out here on this side, you'll put it behind it. On that, you put it out here. We'll do this so we got the factory edge up. So mark it again? I mean, if you want that edge. No, no I, I seen you, you didn't like that boogered up edge. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's mark it again. Up on top for everybody to see. Oh, who cares? But if they don't like it, you can just tell them to come over and make it themselves. That one guy. You got that one guy that don't like this stuff sitting in the bleachers. He knows. We'll be back in a second. We're gonna get that hemmed up and all that fun stuff. We'll get jammed on that hood and put the hood on there and we'll let you eyeball it. Do the old pipe. Hey. What you got in your pocket there, son? Don't mess with you. Right. Oh no. We got this one all sized up. This a little step action. All the way through there. That's just Let's take a look at her. Oh, she's lining up nice. Now we just gotta get the bumper mounted on it. They gotta poke the holes in it. We got plastic too, but I don't think we'll be putting that on today. Something. All right, we're gonna poke some holes in this, get the bumper on it, and then see what she looks like. Yeah, I think that's perfect. See the bolts spur both of them. Oh yeah. That started that one.
Well, here you have it. Got the bumper on it. And I think it looks pretty good. Just gonna get the nose plastic on it. But, uh, I think everything turned out good. A little trimming to do right here. I don't want that running into the bumper. But, uh, let me know what you guys think. I hope it's a good enough design. We designed it where we can take these bolts out on the sides. This will come off and this will come off separate. So if we just need to work on this, and pull it off there. And, uh, and everybody knows, <laughs> it don't take much to fold these noses and stuff up. So we just tried to design it where it'd be easy to work on. So if you like what you're seeing, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Uh, make sure to follow me at Tim Nash Racing on Facebook and Tim Nash Racing on Instagram. We also have a website, timnashracing.com, if you guys want to get a t-shirt, hoodie, or a hat. And uh, that's going to be a wrap, like I said. So until next time, keep it between the ditches.